Hey, it's Andrew from Time and Tide, and today is your lucky day. Every single strap you see on this tray could be yours if you watch to the end and learn how to enter. Today, we're talking about strap monsters. Ah! <clears throat> cool. And you can see this empty chair here. This is saved for the biggest strap hacker I know. His name is Matthew Pickering. He never wears the same strap twice. It's crazy. He's the man for the show. Matthew, using the magic of television, I'm gonna bring you in right now. That, that, that's not Matt. No, no, no. Ready? Three, two, one. Uh, Mate, why are you clicking? I was right here the whole time. We do watch reviews, we don't do comedy. Matthew. Andrew. <laughs> it was really weird, it was a good concept. Anyway, I, we do need the power of my click because there's nothing worse. I hate watching people change straps. Don't make me do that. Don't make them do that. What is a strap monster, Matthew? Uh, I guess the simplest way to describe it would be one watch, uh, which pairs well with the multiple options of different straps. So we've got um, Doc Specific here on a nice French strap, but uh, we've also got a few different options here, a NATO, a Tropic, a few other bits and pieces that we can um, pair it with and just add a bit more versatility to a watch and give it a few different looks. Exactly. And the reason this is happening with this watch is that, strangely enough, it is our first limited edition. It's a big watch for us, but it arrived to us without its factory strap. So we thought, okay, we can just leave it strapless and <laughs> put a string on it and put it in the uh, in the breast pocket or we can actually get some shoes for it and that's where we started playing and we realized this watch is a legitimate boom 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 strap monster absolutely yeah i think we we're desperate to get on the wrist so uh, yeah we found exactly. a few straps and then sort of went from there yeah cool yeah. and look it's landed on the orange one but it was not an easy decision what was going to be its main pair of shoes before we get too far along all these straps you see here we are gonna give away today for the person that nominates their strap monster in the comments below. Everyone's got a watch that they swear works best on multiple straps. Tell us below and you could win all this, Matt. Yeah. How much is that, how much is that worth? Ooh, uh, cool. 700 Australian dollars. Woo! It's go. about 500 US yep. or thereabouts, depending on the currency. Uh, so let's get started, Matt. I'm gonna, my clicking finger is Fucking broken. <laughs> so I think I might bring a bit of something else. Anyway, we're going to do this quickly and we're gonna do it using the Time and Tide strap changing tool, which is available in the Time and Tide shop right now. It's pretty handy, Matt. Just give us the basic rundown. Yeah, it's just a very simple spring bar tool with uh, one end. Essentially, you will take the spring bar and place it in between the strap and the lug and gently pry the strap off. And as we practice the magic television, one shot, there you go. <laughs> so that's the only time you're gonna see a strap actually change using the tool in the next few minutes. So Matt, let's get started. Surprise oh. me, what are we going with first? Right. I think we can do the charcoal first. This is my personal favorite combination with the blue. Hey, you might remember Matthew from such videos as this one. Guess what time and tight audience? There's a new man sitting on the table. That's you, Matt. Yes, that's me. <laughs> ding, ding, we're done. Yep, first change. Okay, what do we got? Uh, this is the charcoal isoprene strap. Ch the reason we like the isoprene strap for this bad boy, bad girl, is that it gives you the height you need to really give this case the right sort of lift off the wrist. Is that how you describe it, Matt? Yeah, the isoprene straps are a little bit chunky, so they do fit the bigger dive watches. Because this is a 600 meter, 14 and a half millimeter high, proper deep diver. So there you have it. How do you feel, man? I'm a fan. Like I said, I like the tones, but as I said, I like the isoprene. Measure the thickness um, against the case very well. It's not too thin. I don't like straps that are too thin against the thicker watch. I think the bulk of the um, case needs a thicker strap, so the isoprene is the way to go. Because you'll see, we've got a much, much slimmer Tropic strap to try as well. You'll see what we mean. It just tends to ride higher and it doesn't get that sort of um, lift off the wrist and it doesn't have a commensurate thickness so it does look a little more pucky 
on a thinner strap. Now look, in the game of tones, if I can use that pun, it um, surprisingly works because we've got a charcoal type grey with this really nice brushed gunmetal grey titanium case. I think this is like an 8 out of 10 for me. I'm going to give it an 8. Yep. What about you? Uh, 9 for me. It's my Ooh, favourite combination. 9, yeah. okay. There you go. Number 1. Charcoal grey isoframe. What's next, Matt? We have a very nice sort of bone heather grey yeah. ivory number. Ivory number, okay. Yep. So we just ding. We have now the uh, heather grey isoframe. Uh, again, same combination in terms of look and feel, but different colour strap. Uh, Works really well, I think, Andrew. It does. Look, to me, this is more Florida. It's more Queensland. It's, uh, it's a lighter tone. It's, I really wanted, and I still want, hey, Isoprane, I still want a white, white, white one, like an Arctic Fox white one. Because there's a few tones of white in this watch. The Loom Plots are not your Fotina tone. They're like white, white. Yep. Uh, so I think there's definitely room for a an even more out there summery white. But I have to say, the, how do we call this? Bone, heather gray, actually does light up the loom plots. It, it doesn't jar with the, the tone of light white on the, on, the, on the dial. Yep, and I think from a practical standpoint as well, it's gonna hold up a little bit better than a pure white strap, which uh, might not hold up as well yeah i know so some you know coconut oil applications okay. could maybe <laughs> discolor slightly look i'm i'm just quite mad about this watch to be honest i think it actually looks so far i mean i'm giving this like a seven and a half maybe even an eight as well just because it's i can imagine on a holiday you want a lighter strap when you're tanning up you want that contrast Absolutely. don't have it right now in the middle of melbourne winter how many what do you give it uh, seven for me. Uh, seven. Still, still a fan, but yeah, not as popular as the uh, the charcoal. Okay. Well, I reckon it's time to throw us for a loop. While we take this off, let's go to NATO Town with one of our grey NATOs. It's engraved Time of Tide on the Tang buckle. So you always know your friends at Time of Tide are thinking of you. Let's try that. Absolutely. Cool. All right. Um, should I do the magic trick? Why not? It's worked so far. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't worked at all. Come on, click. We are in NATO town. How do we go, Matt? What are you thinking? Yep, this is our Nimbus Grey NATO. Um, double pass NATO. I'm a big fan of double pass. I like the security. What's a double having... pass NATO, Matt? Double pass NATO. Good question, Andrew. Yep. Um, double pass NATO is designed for the military to sort of stop if one lug broke, you'd have yep. the ex extra security of the strap. Um, there's a big movement going on at the moment in terms of single pass NATOs. People like it seeing a little more flush against the wrist, but you still get that NATO feel. Mm -hmm. um, we have the Double pass nato here, which I'm a big fan of. Gives you a bit more Sounds security. Sounds kind of technical, double pass Well, nato. I like it, especially with thicker dive watches, even yeah. though it does add a bit of extra height to the watch with having two bits of nylon underneath. I still like the hardware detail down there, which you don't get with the um, single pass. And Stop teasing me. Stop teasing me. Give me the watch. On the Come wrist. on. So it's great. This Thank you. Miss Gray. Any other questions about double pass, ask Matt in the comments. Because <laughs> clearly, we, we could make a whole video with Matt talking about double pass natos. There you go. The Doxa Pacific 600T on a double pass, Nimbus NATO. I, I give this a nine. Yeah, I think it's on the same. Uh, That's a nine. Yep. That's a solid nine. And the, the, the gray tone is is really in sync with the, the color palette of the, the gray titanium. Goes well with the blue. But really, this could also, we've got a marine blue color that it could work with. I think just in general, once again, uh, this case, it, it does, it adds even more heft because of the extra little bit of um, height off the wrist. Yeah, I mean that slight bit of extra, but this is being the, um, the nylon instead of the seat belt. I think that extra security yeah. sort of makes up for it. Let's go. One to go, Matty. Um, that's our highest ranking yet. Um, if this was Olympics, this would be the gold medalist It'd be on, and the other two would be on the podium. I'm curious to see what is last. The Tropic. Let's see how the Tropic goes. So I'm not even going to do the magic sort of dink dink because by now we've worked out that it, it, it's, it's broken. It doesn't work. And I think probably neither does the comedy. Um, <laughs> I'll stop and we'll just come back with the strap. Boom! Tropic Thunder. <laughs> Without the inappropriate bits. Look at that blue. Yep. Damn, that's electric. All right, man, we've made the people wait long enough. On. <laughs> I told you I'm a natural, so it's fine. How, long, how do they enter this competition? Because we've got some yes. serious straps here. We've Absolutely. Got a, we've got a lot of 
we, we, we probably underestimated how much they're worth. Yep. So it's a lot of money. So above Andrew's head here will be a subscribe button. So please yep. click the subscribe button. It's over there. Over there, yep. Like the video and please leave a comment below on what your favorite strap monster is. Everyone has a favorite strap monster. My other big ones, SPB143, the Seiko. Absolutely love playing with that one. It looks good on everything. What's yours? Tell us below. Lastly, we need to rank this strap. We need to give it a rating because so far it's been, they've been pretty high. There's a reason for that. There's a lot of inappropriate straps that we just said, no, we're not gonna do that. Why would we show you a strap that's not a good combination? Well, the Tropic is so different, and I'll tell you why, Matt. Because why, Well, it tapers to such an extreme thin yes. end. And also, it tapers in thickness, so it actually, I mean, it's super, super, oh, so comfortable. Yeah, yep, very supple, smells like vanilla. Not mm. sure what they do, but- These um, are even more yeah. vanilla -y. Anyway, that's weird. We'll do a whole separate video of me smelling watch straps. Not today. Um, this strap has small holes. It has a cross hatch pattern on it. It has like faux stitching, which isn't stitching down the side. These are great straps, but I do find they're a little bit slight for the, how do I say this? It's an alpha faceted case. It's a, it's a big unit. It's, there's not, subtlety isn't this, this guy's best strength. So I'm gonna give this a six for suitability. However, for color and for color matching, it's a 10. What about you, Matt? How many, how many points? Overall, I love Tropic. It's probably my favorite third party it's strap. It's the most comfortable third party yep. strap. I More than. One, yeah, I chuck one on my, on my sub. I've got the car key one. I think it matches yep. up really well. The lugs. Uh, where the lugs meet, it does marry up really well because it is mm -hmm. quite thick. It's true. It actually gets to quite a thick point at that end. Yep. But I think um, going back to something thicker overall, like one of the isoprene straps, just makes the watch a bit more of a, a middle ground. So yeah, I'll probably give it a seven, but uh, the colorway works well. But um, yeah, big fan of the Tropic straps myself. So. Awesome. Well, look, that was a magical video, even if the magic tricks didn't quite come together. Thanks so much for watching. Look, this is a competition video and we've got some really cool stuff. We're gonna give away everything you can see here. Including we include a, this? Yeah, including spring that, sure. Cool, so do it, get on board, like, comment, subscribe, tell us about your strap monster. Thanks for watching Time and Tide. See you next time.